so the aesthetics class kind of to define it is my attempt to teach the students what I have been teaching them. This is why I've been teaching you art. This is what we've been doing here. This is the whole shebang. And kind of a reflection of does this make sense? Like, do you get why is this the right path? It's an assessment through the kids, really. It's, I'm t explaining to you why I'm teaching this way, my philosophy. And I want you to affirm that you understand what this means so that you can uh, actually, you could teach it, you could explain it to others. You have the definition and you've arrived at it. You have embodied it. So if a good teacher, in my opinion, if you're a good teacher, the kids don't need you anymore. They can do it. They understand its purpose. So they can go forth with the, the fruits of their knowledge and spread it out to others. And like, when people say, why did you do this? Or what's what's with that art? They can explain it. I am teaching you this. But for the first few years of your high school education, you're participating, you're a participant. So you're not seeing the, the behind the curtains. You're not uh, getting you're going through the motions without the knowledge of what this yields. And you yield it, you come to these, the tests, the artworks became, become the testament of, I did this, right? But now it's like, why? Why did I do this? What is art? So we're trying to arrive at this. So the readings that we have in class are how art has been perceived through different uh, lenses, different guises. Where did art come from? Why, where is it now? Like literally find it following a timeline, the art, art history. And understanding this is why we learn about art history. This is how it plugs into society. This is where we're at now because of these events. Understanding where we came from in figuring out where we're going. Because lately, in the postmodernist world, we've been stepping back a lot, but we haven't been. We've been really remaining the same. We've been festering. We've been just a boil. And it's been pushed out different ways because we've been focused on now. If there's nothing else to look at, you're stuck in this spot. So the postmodernist rejection of history or to rewrite history, that's where we're at. What, where are we in history? We're just pushing back and forth. Like, no, we're in this part of history. No, we're in this part of history. Well, we have history. And yeah, it might have been written by a bunch of aristocrats, uh, upper uh, class white people with privilege, you know, whoever it be. It might not be white people, but essentially somebody's in privilege and they got to write things from their perspective. That's really what it comes down to. So here's all of history. And the one thing that's been unrequited, is that the word? There, There's a confession that's kind of unedited. But if it is edited, let's, let's for example, you've got the Renaissance. So the church has got a lot of money they're pumping it into the artists, but it's all it's a lot of commission work. So because their their subject matter has essentially been taken away, there's a huge focus on the technique, you know? Like everybody's gonna do this, so who can do the best of it? This is really what uh, the Renaissance yielded. So we got these amazing artists that are able to do use materials and technique better than has ever been in history, arguably. 
Um, but right now we're in subject matter. Like, everybody's got a, in the postmodernist realm, everybody's got an opinion. And so, because we're just spitting whatever, we, we've got so much sub, subject matter flying around that, and we have the technology to not have to know how the technology works. So, our technique is just the ability to use the modern day tools, which are, uh, you're jumping forward in the process so that you know what you want and you can make it that way, but you don't know all the background. So you didn't know how it needed to be sculpted so that, or drawn or uh, even interacting directly with the, su the subject matter that, or the, me the media that it would do this. For example, uh, Photoshop, dodging and burning. You wouldn't know really what dodging and burning was unless you did chemical photography. And right now, you still understand what dodging and burning means because you can see what the effects are, but you don't know where that came from. Lights and the blocking of lights and uh, chemicals to time, all those things needed to be figured out first so that the technologies of today can do the things that they do now. So, oh, man. so the, this aesthetics class is trying to amend that. I, I'm teaching kids literally what everything in history has developed up until this point. And so I'm just throwing these medias and techniques at them and teaching them about thought, but now here's where I got all this stuff. Here's my reference page, if you will. And then the kids, by the end of this, should understand why I teach art and how I teach art and what art is for. What is art? So this becomes the aesthetics class. Yeah. Do more, do better.